What's up, guys? It's Manga Time once again with Naruto 625, The True Dream. Uh, a great chapter by Kishimoto, 10 out of 10. Uh, I really enjoyed this flashback chapter, even though this flashback may be dragging on a little bit too long now. Um, this was necessary, and really, just really, really well done. Um, basically, it starts off where it left off, with um, Madara kind of giving Senju Maru... No, Senju, sorry an ultimatum. Kill yourself or kill your brother. Now this is quite funny really because obviously Hashirama's not going to kill his brother but if he had killed Tobirama that would have solved a lot of problems. Um, but now obviously he doesn't kill Tobirama so he goes to kill himself um, which I thought was kind of interesting because he did that really really quickly and it's just like okay that was I presume just his shinobi way of thinking maybe but um and then Madara stops him, and he's like, I've seen your true resolve. That was kind of predictable, but um, obviously Hashiram wasn't going to die there, so they um, they get together, and they basically, the two clans come together. This act of peace brings them together, and they start bringing together all the other countries. And it's really cool, because you get to see that the, for the formation of the leaf, they start building this place that they always dreamed of as children. Um... Uh, I kind of thought that because they get they they come up with the name the leaf Madara comes up with it and just by looking through this leaf which I kind of thought was a bit meh I kind of thought there'd be a bit more to it like Konoha it's the hidden village of the leaf hidden just because he's looking behind a leaf kind of and it was just like okay is that it really um, it's kind of almost like that to me was almost like Kishimoto felt he needed an explanation for absolutely everything and he didn't really have one for calling it the hidden village of the leaf so. He just had Madara look through a leaf. I kind of thought that was a bit, that was a bit iffy. But um, you know, it's nice to get an explanation, I suppose, if a bit unnecessary. Um, and then they start talking business, and you know, Hashirama's talking about having Hokages, um, and he thinks that Madara should be the first Hokage, and he thinks that he should have his face carved into the mountain as an eternal reminder that he has to, that he's sworn to defend these people basically obviously Madara is like he couldn't watch over his own siblings so how can he possibly how can he possibly do this and even now like they, they the two of them have a really good vibe together um occasionally Hashirama does his whole depressed thing um and you know they're both still funny uh, they are still the same children even though Madara sometimes looks a bit kind of worn out because of the bags under his eyes I think makes does make him look very different I feel um, basically Hashirama explains to Madara the, what a Hokage does, and you know, they can still joke occasionally, and they, they can still have some fun, Toborama's always around messing stuff up, basically, um, he's not very happy with Hashirama putting Madara as a, as the Hokage, he's like, Madara will never get picked, it's always going to be you, brother, basically. And he keeps coming out with these kind of things that Hashirama hates. And then someone is outside eavesdropping. And he's, and Toborama says that Madara will never be accepted. And pretty sure that it was Madara that was listening in their conversation. Because that's why the leaf is outside. Um, and the leaf breaks in half. Which is obviously symbolic that it's no longer going to work. Um... And, you know, immediately after that, you see that Hashirama has become the first Kokage. And then Madara shows Hashirama the the uh, Uchiha tablet. And you need the special eye technique to decipher what's written on it. Which I presume is the Sharingan. And Madara begins to say that, you know, um, in the quest for peace, God divided himself into two opposites. And together they attained true happiness. Um... And this is, I really like this scene actually though, because um, Hokage Hashirama, although he is the Hokage and he's wearing the attire and everything, he really gave off some um, awesome facial expressions. However, there is one thing I didn't particularly like about this, because Hashirama even says that he will um, he'll sort Tobirama out and the villagers will eventually come to accept Madara. And apparently, you know, Madara's art said that he's um, spoken to his brothers, but none of them listened to him. And we already know this was the case. We already know that Madara tried to get them to leave. Um, 
no one trusts him apparently. And then you know he he questions Senju, um, Sen Hashirama, who would you cut down, me or Tobirama? And he says that he's going to leave the village. And he basically says cooperation is nothing more than a silent struggle. Now, we get to the end of the chapter, and I kind of, oh man, I didn't really like it. It's it. I had some parts. I some I did kind of like it, but I didn't. I also didn't really like it because basically, Madara somehow suddenly gets this whole idea that personally seems to come out of nowhere that the world is better off seen as nothing more than excess and then he suddenly turns around and he's all crazy and evil and that's the end of the chapter and I just kind of thought that was kind of rushed seriously well, when did he become this crazed evil villain that suddenly thought, thought the world meant nothing to anyone <clears throat> which is obviously the mindset he has today and obviously he's got his whole sharing and going on and that's the end of the chapter I'm still going to give it a 10, um, because I was extremely entertained, there's so much going on, I mean, I've been, I've just been dictating what happens in the uh, past six minutes, Long, it's a good chapter, there's a lot of content, but at the same time, that does mean that a lot of things might feel a bit rushed, I do think Madara's change of heart was very sudden, although I did like the scene preceding it, and he does look pretty cool when he turns around and he's evil. Um, I, uh, this obviously is not going to be going on for much longer, I don't think, because now we're kind of getting up to the part when they're eventually going to have their showdown. Um, Hashirama is now the Hokage. I presume that Hashirama is possibly going to kill himself after Madara gets killed, or, yeah, gets killed. And then Tobirama will create the Edo Tensei in an attempt to bring him back, perhaps. Um, that's kind of it, really. That's the chapter in a, in, in a, in a smaller nutshell as I can make. What did you think of the chapter, though? Let me know. Do you think it's a bit rushed, or do you think it's perfect? Do you really like what's going on? I mean, I gave it a 10. I really liked it, but I, I do think some bits were a little, bit, a little bit weak. Like, what did you think of the naming of the, the village, the leaf? What did you think of the chapter? What do you think of the characters in the chapter? What do you think of Toba Rama? What do you think of Madara's reaction to the whole thing? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, subscribe to my videos, and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Until then, thanks a lot. See ya.